My name is uh, Joe Ferry, and uh, I'm uh, a resident of Ren Reynoldsburg, Ohio, and uh, I think I have a story here to tell the folks. Uh, I happened to be on the USS Compton in uh, 1945, and uh, in, the, uh, in our story here, we passed mail on to the Missouri and the Idaho Iowa and the Missouri, and uh, we were passing mail on to the Idaho, the battleship Idaho, when they put a hole in the side of our destroyer. And because of this uh, action, uh, they sent us into Tokyo Bay on August 28th, 1945. That was five days before the surrender, along with the USS Piedmont, that was a repair ship, to repair the damages of our ship. And uh, I had an article about this uh, Japanese flag in the U.S. Uh, in the U.S. Uh, dispatch or the dispatch paper, and I said, "My God, I have uh, the first American flag that flew in Tokyo Bay, and uh, it was in there because of the result of that accident." And uh, it's as you say, it's a very it had 48 stars. It's beat up, and I thought perhaps this might be a story. I had this flag for 62 years. And uh, never thought about it. My son has had it for the last 25 years. In other, in other words, when we came back from war, we went back to college, got married, had kids, and went to work. Forgot all about it. But I was 22 years old. I didn't need, realize the significance of this flag. Perhaps today it might have some relative value or at least historical value. And I guess uh, that might be my story. What does this flag mean personally to you, besides the fact it's an artifact? Well, actually, it means a lot to me because as we remember the days of our service, uh, this was very significant. And the fact, I was a signalman on board the uh, USS Compton. And I was going home right after the war uh, because I had enough points. And I happened to be on the bridge, and I asked the uh, officer, uh, I said, can I take this home as a souvenir? And uh, as I said, I didn't really uh, pay much attention to it until the fact that the people began saying, hey, this might have some kind of historic value here. And that's uh, my story.